In one week, American astronauts will launch into space from Florida, the first U.S.-based launch in nine years. Chris Costa talks to the two men before they begin a new era of space travel. Two American astronauts are anxiously awaiting the big launch. Astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley left Ellington Field in Houston Wednesday afternoon, arriving at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And DB1M1. They will fly rockets and spacecraft owned by SpaceX, not NASA, to the International Space Station. It's the first step in making commercial space travel a reality. This time we're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. The commercial crew program unites NASA and private companies, creating a competitive market for space travel, which should drive down NASA's costs and increase access to space. It's kind of a culmination, and it's, a, it's that next stage of uh, human spaceflight. Doug Hurley is one of the last astronauts to fly an American spacecraft. He was on the last U.S. space shuttle nine years ago. No, absolutely no expectation that, that frankly, that I would have even flown again. For five years, they've trained for this launch, using Falcon 9 rockets to blast off and docking the Dragon spacecraft at the International Space Station. The lesson they're taking from those who have flown before them? Be prepared. Nobody wants to see this uh, mission to be a success more than us, uh, as you might imagine, and we don't want to uh, be the folks that uh, don't make it successful. Yeah, as long as, uh, In Houston, Chris Costa, KHOU 11 News. <laughs>